One night before Halloween, Edward was telling spooky stories at the shed. The train plunged into the sea. The engine and its passengers fell to the bottom of the deep ocean. But some say that the passengers can still be seen on Halloween night, wailing in a train's carriage. The yard was silent. Most of the engines tried not to look scared. All except James. Bah! Scoffed James. Your stories are getting worse every year. I wouldn't say that, James, if I were you. Tease, Thomas. Or a passenger might come after you. He'd better not bring one to the sheds. Squeaked Percy. Percy, be a sensible engine for once and don't believe every little thing you hear. Retorted James and backed into the sheds. I'm not scared of everything. Percy weakly replied. Of course you're not. Comforted Thomas. And anyway, James is just grumpy because his coaches have been getting rusty. James pretended he hadn't heard. The next night, James arrived at Knapford Station with his coaches. As James came to a stop at the busy platform, he heard his coaches squeak. Rotten things, thought James. The passengers carefully got in and rummaged to find their seat in the poorly lit carriages. Soon, the guard slammed the carriage doors, blew his whistle, and James was off. When he reached Housebridge, Thomas was waiting for him. Have you seen a scary passenger tonight, James? Teased Thomas. I hear she's around tonight. Rubbish! Hissed James. There's no such thing, and you know it! There's no need to be so cross. Especially when you're getting new coaches tomorrow. The Fat Controller wants you to take your old ones to the scrapyard after your passenger run. James couldn't wait to get rid of his old coaches and quickly set off. James's coaches were very heavy with the amount of passengers in them. But James strived on, determined to see his new coaches. Soon the final station came into view. James watched the passengers leave the platform and steamed off to the scrapyard. But as James took his coaches along the lonely track, he could hear whispering. James looked at the tall trees and thought it was the wind passing through them. That's funny. It doesn't feel windy, thought James. All the same, he wished it would stop. He was becoming a little spook. Eventually, he arrived at the scrapyard. He was just about to stop when he heard a scary BANG as the coach's brake pipe burst open and a scream rattled down the coaches. But there was worse to follow. Along with the screams came cries as the coach's doors banged. It's Edward's passenger! James cried and ran to find out. Let me out! wailed the voice. James wanted to shut his eyes. Please! he shouted. Leave me alone! Go bug someone else! But the voice didn't. It seemed to only get crosser as James finally found Edward. He screeched to a stop and with a thud, the noise stopped. Edward! James whimpered. The ghost from your story is in my coaches! Edward was confused. But that's just a story, he said. All the same, he was very concerned. James's driver and fireman was spooked too and didn't dare investigate. So Edward's crew went to look instead. Inside, they found a little girl looking rather upset. What are you doing in there? asked the driver. I can't get out, she cried. The driver pulled on the coach's handle until at last it sprung open. The girl shot out straight away. James's driver phoned the police 
and brought the girl's mother to the docks. Once the girl had calmed down, she spoke to James. I'm sorry I scared you, she said. I should be the one saying sorry, replied James sheepishly. I should have stopped and got my crew to check if there was anyone in the coaches. Then he smiled. Would you and your mum like a ride home in my cab? There are no doors in there, he asked. Oh, yes, please, smiled the girl. And she and her mother huddled into the cab. The girl enjoyed herself immensely as they headed for the station. And they only made one stop along the way. Good riddance, called James as he left the old coaches at the scrapyard. He'd always known that the coaches were trouble, but he never knew they'd give him such a fright. join my Patreon. It has five tiers of many perks that I hope shows just how grateful I am to the lovely people who choose to support me. A special thank you goes to Tinmouth Depot, my £50 patron. If you too would like a shout out, either in text form or voice, then be sure to donate to the £10 or £20 tier. Otherwise, I'm still very thankful for any amount given. Thanks for watching and have a great day.